Ladies and gentlemen, it is fantastic to have you here. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I hope the beginning of your week is going just swimmingly. And it's brilliant to have you here in the workshop because we are going to begin today making a hunger monger. If you don't know what a hunger monger is, that's all right. Make sure you hit subscribe because uh, this is going to be a pretty exciting week. Can't wait to bring you along. First things first, let's light the forge. Damn it. Take two. Let's light the forge. Now we've got to find some steel from which to make this. We've got a big old hunk of round bar there. Wait. What? Why are you not making it out of Damascus? You think I should make it out of Damascus? That's what we're all about. It's Damascus or nothing. Damascus, really? Really, Damascus? Really? Oh, gee whiz. Here we go. What is a hunger monger? It is an African throwing knife. An African throwing knife? Well, it's not. Ow! That is hot. Don't do that. Woo! Now, what is so special about an African throwing knife? Let me show you. Okay, okay. So check this out. That is a hunger monger. That's pretty crazy. So now we wait for the steel to heat up, and then of course we're gonna run onto the power hammer, Mr. Pilkington, and we're gonna forge it down, forge weld it together, and hopefully start forging ourselves a hunger monger. But I can still split an apple. Right, that's a good apple. The piece of steel is hot. Now time to turn on the power hammer. This is not good. Thankfully, failure is often something I'm able to avoid. But not today. Whoopsie. Let's see how it works when it's a little hotter. Oh no, it's not welded here, too. Uh oh. Time to cut our losses. I'm gonna stack up another billet of steel and we're gonna make another billet, put it back in the fire, and start powering again. Now why do I think it broke? I think it broke because I left it in the fire a little bit too long and so it oxidized a little bit too much. With that oxidation, it meant the surfaces were not as clean as they were at the beginning, so it was just too dirty for it to weld. Lately, I've been experimenting with welding without flux, which has been going well, and because of that, I don't think it's the issue. I think the issue, rather, is simply my carelessness with the amount of time that it was in there. Getting distracted. I had nothing to do with playing basketball. Nothing to do with that at all. But anyway, let's weld up another billet. for a second weld, well, third weld, second successful weld of the day. Fingers crossed on the successful part. And yes, then I did use flux. We used flux, it's meant to clean the surfaces and make it easier to weld. It welded just fine without the flux on the first one, but now there's an iron oxide and it just makes me a little nervous about trying to weld without the flux and after the mess up earlier. And since we're all out of Damascus, or steel for Damascus, we fluxed this one. Let's get back into the power hammer. Got a crack. 
Oogly doogly, so I have no clue if this has worked. That crack it opened up, it looked gnarly at the beginning, I then forged it some more, it looked okay. Now, I just don't know. So I now forged this out into this really wide, flat piece of steel. Using those fullering dies over there on that light green power hammer really helped spread that out there. And the reason I've let it cool down is I want to grind that seam where the crack opened up and just see if it's welded. If it isn't, then it's a problem. If it is welded, then great, because it needs to be cool anyway, because I'll then come over here to the anvil, and we're gonna begin laying out where we're gonna start chiseling off the branches of this hunga manga. That sounds way better when you say that way. But anyway, as I said, it is lunchtime, and ladies and gentlemen, the competition for the best photo that will win a t-shirt, me! You don't win, Sam. This has been so difficult trying to pick a winner because we have had so many entries. We tried our absolute best to get the selection of what we thought was the best, and this is what it looks like. It's still so many people! So we've narrowed it down to this. And then from there, we narrowed it down to this. And we're left with just a few entries. It's so difficult. This seven people. Which one do we choose? Which one? Jamie has an idea. <laughs> I haven't thought it through very well, but if Sam, Alec, and myself pick a first, second, and third place individually, and then if anybody has two first places, then they win. Seems like an idea. I think we can work with that. Let's do it. We have a second idea. Now what we're gonna do instead, because if I can't pick a winner, what I can do is assign scores. This works. We're gonna assign a score, one to 10, on all of the photos, and then I guess we'll see whoever has the cumulative highest score will win! Okay, so we had to bring in an official judicator for this, because we had to do it the real professional way, of course. So, oh, he's here. Oh, hello, I'm from the uh, Book of uh, Stuff, and uh, the winner is written on this small bit of paper here, and it is, in fact, a tie. What? So my predictions are the guy breathing fire and the dude who's taken loads of photos of himself outside of his workshop. Amy thinks this guy and this guy. I think it's... Wait, hang on, but you know. You don't get to say I think. Excuse me? That wasn't me. What? The official adjudicator, that wasn't me. Oh, really? I think it's him. And him. That's the tie? That's the- I know, and that's who I think it is. Oh, that's what you think? Yes. Not, not- <laughs> Was it part of having an adjudicator the fact that we know who's part of, like, the tie? Can you go get him? At least our uh, adjudicator has good merch on. The tie is between this young fellow here and this one. Hang on a sec, can you go get Sam? Ah, it's better. You all along! What happened? Who won? Should we flip a coin? We'll flip a coin. I'm going to go with head sport down in your head. So this guy's heads. And tails for Mike Dupel. Mike is tails. Ready? Let's do it! Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! I gotta pull focus! Tails! What? Woo! You did it, Mike! You're coming to the workshop! I can't think of anything more epic than having twins and then giving them hammers that you've made. Mike, that was an epic idea and Epic idea. Yeah, of course. Inspired by the video my son was in, which I thought was awesome. Oh yeah, of course it was the video that your son was in. All of you who entered, the entries were unbelievable. And this has been a real, real struggle to wean it down. You guys, you killed it. Thank you so much. There are going to be more t-shirts up on the website real, real soon. We've got some great stuff happening over the next little week or so. Can't wait to show you. For now, let's get back to working on our... Hunger Munga! Hunger Munga! Sam, Sam. I, th I think Jamie is upset that his uh, that his choice didn't win. Don't look at me. Yeah, this is this is, this is a problem. I Let's go make a hunger manga. Hunger manga. So we've got the winner pick. That is super exciting. Sam is booking in flights right now, and now it is time to grid. And yes, I will learn how to spell someday. Ow. Damn it.
And so we have ground it, and I'm not entirely, 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 entirely sure that we don't have a crack, but I think that we can start laying out how we're gonna chisel out this hunger monger, but first, check out what's arrived. Ha! <laughs> this phone case. Yeah! What? This is so cool! Okay, guys, there is some cool stuff happening towards the end of the week. Make sure you stay tuned. End of this week, maybe early next week, amazing stuff is dropping on the website. Like this. Well, do with this is uh, this is rather difficult. So a hunger monger, of course, has all these weird protrusions and shapes from it. And knowing that I can't make a piece of plate, you know, that I could theoretically just cut the shape pre-cut from it, my plan was indeed to forge out this piece of Damascus and then chisel in bend and then draw out into the shape that we want for the hunger monger. But this takes some, this takes my brain working in a way that's like, it's a complex way of trying to work the brain, which is trying to take these bent things, put them back, imagine them squished down, and then somehow imagine it come out of this piece of flat bar. This is very, very difficult. Time to really, really buckle down and think here for a pretty good amount of time. I think I've worked out how I'm gonna forge this hunger monger. So I'm really excited because on tomorrow's episode, we're gonna be forging that. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new. We're making near daily videos and it is uh, such a blast. There are two more videos you can watch right there and I will see you tomorrow on the very next one. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.